Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your aura dab of the day. Today is Sunday. There's a saying that goes like this. He who knows others is wise. He who knows himself is truly enlightened. And that's the rub. All the things we're talking about, and happy Mother's Day out there for all the mothers, by the way. A lot of what we talk about is about helping others. A lot of what I talk about is to try to get many of you out there to feel better, think better, move better, and do better things. But each of us have to have a goal, and our goal should be for ourselves. So what we need to do is find ways to bolster our solution set on ourselves. Think about it. A lot of times I talk about how all these people, other people, everyone else, maybe we should think for just a little bit about ourselves. Think about ourselves. The book's in your hand, literally, and you can do whatever you want with it. It's about you. I'm not saying that we've been selfish or that I've been selfish and, you know, not helping myself, but I think the way I operate is I get a lot of help by helping others. But I think many people, frankly, are in such situations, they really aren't worried about helping others. They're concerned and they're only worried about helping themselves for right reasons. If you're so jammed up that you cannot help others, don't feel guilty about it, okay? If you're so jammed up that you can't think other thoughts, thoughts about everyone else, thoughts to help others, then your own pain and your own trouble, don't fret and give yourself a hard time. You're not alone. Many people out there have such tremendous issues that they have to focus on solving their own stuff. Doesn't make us bad people. I'm one of them, by the way. I try to portion out time to help others, but my goal as I'm walking sugar this morning is to stop my pain, and it wasn't happening. I'm pleading with it. Stop. Please stop. It wasn't happening. So until you get yourself under control, think about the logic, it's very hard to help others. That is why the oxygen mask, when it comes down in an airplane, they tell you to put yours on first. We've got to fix ourselves before we can try to fix others. The fixing, we're not surgeons, the fixing may not happen. It might be managing. The managing of ourselves has to come. So think about it. If the real solution you wanted was surgery, let's say, that's not happening. Then they go to physical therapy or some type of uh, interventional thing, that's not happening. Then they go to a non-interventional thing like a physical therapy or a chiropractic, that's not happening. Then they go to a exercise regime and you can do it yourself and that is kind of happening, but it's hurting. And then they go to you can't do anything. So there's a lot of places to fall back to if that makes any sense. We've got to stop giving ourselves a hard time if we're not hitting 10 out of 10, if we're not scoring a perfect 100 on everything we attempt to do. You know, the hardest critic out there for ourselves is ourselves. I'll say it again. The hardest critic out there for ourselves is ourselves. This is a truism. We are harsher on ourselves than we are on others. All of us are. Now, think about this. Part of it, I guarantee you, is because we're innately vain, the human species. Want to look good, want to make sure our shirt is on right, our hat is straight, glasses are on, your hair is combed, you brushed. My point is, we like to be groomed, don't we? We like to have things in order, don't we? Well, when you have pain or issues... Things are out of order. And if we like order, difficult. Becomes challenging. Matter of fact, it becomes the squeaky wheel and you keep trying to fix it. Guess what? That squeaky wheel may not be able to get fixed. 
you might not be able to take the pain away. I don't think my pain is going away today. It's going to be it. So you have to learn to manage around that, support that. You can't argue it away. You can't deny it away. So you've got to learn to deal with it. So this comes back to us working with ourselves first, okay? You know, if I don't fix that pain, I won't be able to walk sugar this afternoon. You understand what I'm saying? So all hands are on deck, and it's something very important, and you got to focus on it, and you got to get it done. What if you can't stop the pain? Does your life stop? No, it doesn't. You push through. So with all of the goals and all the aspirations we have, we also have fallback positions. I want to be up here. I want to be all the way up on top like that. You can't hold on. I want to be up here. I can't hold on. I want to be up here. Can't hold on. I want to be. Can't hold on. I want to be. Can't hold on. And you end up on the floor. Have you failed? Are you a failure? Are you a piece of shit? Of course not. You just couldn't hold on. It's a physical thing. It doesn't have anything to do with who you are. Okay? Me. If I couldn't walk sugar, am I a failure? I feel like it, but I'm not. Inside my brain, I think I am, but I haven't failed anything. It's the pain, and I adapted to it because I don't want to make myself worse. The guilt you feel from not walking sugar, or I feel from not walking sugar, or the guilt you would feel from not doing something isn't going to hurt physically the way doing what you decided not to do would have, would have hurt. So you've got to make these tough decisions. You've got to, unfortunately. No one else can make them for you. Let's take our dab of the day. And get our Sunday Mother's Day started for Mrs. Stoner. One of the things that's critical, guys and gals, is you've got to have a clear head. What do I mean by a clear head? I'm not talking about not smoking weed. I'm talking about not giving yourself a hard time. My whole mantra today on this video is don't give yourself a hard time. We're doing the very best that we can in a very difficult situation. And I bet many of us out there are saying, you know what? He's right. My situation's really difficult. I'm doing the best I can. We've got to give ourselves credit for what we're doing. Even if it's not accomplishing what we set out to do. We're accomplishing something. We need to get credit for that in our brains so we feel better about ourselves. Cheers. It's up to you all how you give credit to yourself. But let's take the edge off, everybody. We're all trying to help ourselves here. This is the real senior stoner hoping that we all give ourselves a break on Mother's Day. Cheers.